when I speak to you, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, anything in between, whatever, if you've not picked your gender yet, flip a card, flip a coin, because that's what we can do these days. If you have ever been scammed, you know what it's like. When I say scam, you might think of them silly machines where, you know, it's a claw and it comes up and picks something, you never win it. You might think the lottery, which is the biggest waste of money anyone's ever spent on. Maybe you thought of them McDonald's lottery cards. Have you ever heard of anyone, please tell me in the comments if you're wrong, of winning anything other than an apple pie? It does not exist. They are a scam. They just throw them on as stickers and does anyone even collect them when as soon as i get them i just flick him in the bin or give them to my dad if it's a free coffee because their coffee is dog shit let's be real but apart from the greatest scam in history which is obviously being a fraudulent hipster the biggest scam in the world is a yearly release of an iphone my god is this the worst thing ever now I'm, I, i've made a couple videos uh, i think iphone apple is a cult people who have work i have one but people who get them every year have been brainwashed into thinking that spending a thousand quid on a phone is an acceptable thing to do each year it's not it's crazy it's for nutters it's it's like crack you know if someone you, you were spending a, a grand on crack and putting it into your eyeballs you'd be like this isn't right but instead you spend it on a phone and that's acceptable la, 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 la. nah bro now i'm not sure if you remember like the iphone 8 or the iphone something whenever I had a bit of controversy once because you could bend it in half so uh no offense if you're a big bloke or a big woman but the bigger people you know not fat uh slightly more uh skinned individuals they were sitting down for too long uh, i don't know why because that's what bigger skinned individuals do and uh, then they would sit up and realize they bent their phone in half like a bloody pringle or something it was magical and now the iphone 15 though we're in september it's just been released i think or it's out and people have got their hands on it oh baby is there some good goss now, as you can see here, it's been broken. The actual iPhone is broken. How did it happen, you say? Well, he just tried bending it. I'm not even kidding. He tried bending it. Now, with the new iPhone, you get a new USB-C charger that, you know, I've still not got the first one. I think I might, well, I know my phone still has a thumb. You're not going to believe it. It still has a thumb scanner you know your fingers the things you used to type with well some of you just send voice notes these days you don't even use your fingers i still use my thumb to sign in what the fuck richard i know bro it's cray cray i'm i'm a loose cannon i'm just old school man an old school iphone i'm just fucking nuts bro i'm just fucking nuts i refuse to buy one until this explodes breaks catches fire gets stolen by a hippie i don't know what happens these days to phones i've had it for so long i'm not changing it i'm not a bloody narcissistic cult member of this app thing the reason i have an apple phone is i think they're easy i had a samsung once and it was just fucking complicated i've not got the brain skills to understand how you use that my mates have got a, a samsung or some other shit i'm like what the fuck is that bro it looks dog shit calls like dog shit it sounds dog shit it even looks dog shit but i want to show you this video quickly of what a thousand pounds a new thou you know a hard earned thousand big fat wad of cash you place down on your new iphone i'm going to show you how easy it is to break I mean, just for a little bit of context, this bloke, I have no idea what he's doing. This guy's actually going for it, to be fair. He's got a bloody, he's got his knife out. He's in London streets right now, chefing an iPhone. What is going on? I mean, look at this bloke. This guy's absolutely just destroying it. So as you can see here, Zach Nelson, who uh, bent it, he did that. You see what he does, okay? He bent it like that, and he puts very little pressure. If you want to see the video, Jerry rig everything. Go to his channel. Hybrid structure compromises the structural integrity of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Oh! You literally heard it pop like your dentist was pulling your tooth out. Like, like just watching it again. Look, it, you can see it very clearly here. Shout out to this guy's channel. It's great. He's, he's barely, you know, he's doing a little bit, and that's the damage. Fuck off, Ad. I mean, just, that, that is crazy. That is nuts. Imagine, literally, you could bend over, you'd have it in your back pocket again, bend over, and it cracks. That's so much money wasted on a phone like that. I mean, if you fall for this nut shit crap, you need to go to a doctor's and have your brain surgically removed and changed for someone else's, because this shit is cray cray. Not only is it the same phone, tell me one thing that's different that isn't the camera. I bet. I've not even looked at it because I don't waste time watching these stupid events unless it's for a video, because that shit is 
funny, it's gold, man. But what? It looks like three frying pans still. The iPhone is a nice colour, to be fair, but it's been ruined by, you know, if you're a, if you're a big skinned bloke and you bend over and you just hear that, you're fucked. You've either shat yourself or you've broken your new iPhone 15. What is it going to be? Fucking hell, can. So it's around a thousand. So they, they, this is nuts. So they have an iPhone 15 an iPhone 15 Pro and an iPhone 15 Pro Max. So just in case you've not had enough of the Pro or the Pro Max, you can get that. You get one terabyte. What in the God's name do you have one terabyte of, of iPhone storage? What do you put on there? How many photos do you need? You don't have that many friends to take pictures of. I mean, so it's about like, it's a thousand quid wherever you go. It's expensive for a new iPhone and they bring out three and people get them religiously every year. Are you one of these people? people who do i mean what what's the difference what's the di i mean this is it phone is the best best and the best oh cool what about an under iphone 11 can i still get the 14 or 13 cheers paul with the roblox account you fucking tart i mean like look at them it's the same shit different day new iphone new cult followers they all get up there you know i see them in little hoods and they go on camp outside like fucking freaks like get a life you sad prick but look maybe i'm just jealous because i can't afford one. but even if i could afford one i can tell you for goddamn certain man would not buy that one you know what i mean blood I would buy like one every five years or until I bent over too far and it snapped in half and I had no choice but to replace it. I mean, is this seriously what you do? I mean, is this seriously the way forward as a civilization? iPhone bender bummers? Like, but seriously, are you one of these freaks who get iPhones religiously and they bring out a red one for AIDS and pretend they're all fucking humanitarian and not destroying the planet or the shit that they pump out of the earth for this type of stuff? I mean, fucking nasty fuckers. Fuck Apple, it's a cult. But I also have an iPhone and an iPad. So, like, you know, it's like not being a Nazi, but, like, wearing the swastika. You know what I mean? It's not really making sense in my head. But at least I don't buy one each week. Do you? Let me know. Because this shit should be a crime. Let me know down below, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.